Hey guys, and welcome back to Chemistry 1032 instructional video. I am your professor, Dr. Russell Betts, and now we'll be talking about 11.4 RNA and protein synthesis. Now remember I told you DNA was essentially a code on how, to, how a cell needs to make protein. Okay, so now RNA, ribonucleic acid, is what they call the middleman in the process of creating a protein from a gene and DNA. Now a gene is simply a piece of a of DNA. It's just a big piece of DNA. Uh, usually, or I shouldn't say usually, always it's encapsulated into a chromosome. Uh, and a gene is a specific part of DNA that is going to code to make a protein. Okay? Now, like DNA, RNA is a string of nucleotides. It's a string of nucleotides. But DNA does not contain thymine. Instead, DNA contains uracil. So it makes it a little bit different. Now, it's also different in the sugar, right? DNA has deoxyribose. RNA has ribose. Okay? Now, instead of thymine, DNA will use uh, uracil. Where is it here? There it is, uracil. Okay? DNA will use uracil instead of thymine. That's another difference between RNA and DNA. All right. Now, there are numerous types of RNA. Two, a few we're going to talk about are messenger RNA, and there's another one called a transfer RNA. We'll get to that in a minute. Now, in the process called transcription, transcription, DNA's double helix will unwind. Don't worry about how. It just will. So that the complementary copy can be made from one strand. Now, what does that mean, complementary copy? Basically, we're going to make a strand of RNA that will make the complementary version of the DNA. So in other words, if you look at this template here, here's our DNA, our DNA strand. Here's the RNA here at the bottom being made. And this is the complementary to the top. Adenine interacts with uracil, cytosine with guanine, uh, guanine sorry, guanosine with cytosine, and so on. Okay, it's a complementary pair. Now, mRNA is a single strand of DNA, and this whole system, this whole thing, is catalyzed by an enzyme called RNA polymerase. It's what's making the RNA, it's what's taking the RNA and sticking those molecules, those nucleotides, together. Okay, bonding them together covalently at the five prime, five prime, three prime thio, uh, phosphodiester bond. Okay, that is what is happening. Now, the DNA is covalently bonded together the whole time. What's happening here is the uracil will find the adenine, and then the guanine will find the cytosine, and then bond together. There's an enzyme that'll stick them together. Okay? So they're fighting each other. Now, why would they want to interact with each other? Because they have uh, bases that line up the hydrogen bonds perfectly. That's why they want to be together. Don't forget that. It's always hydrogen bonding that dictates who goes with who. Now, Ribosomal RNA and the ribosome. Now we're getting now we're getting to cell biology here, guys. Now the ribosome is an organelle composed of ribosome, ribosomal RNA and a protein. Ribosomal RNA and a protein. Now it is the place where the nucleotide sequence of mRNA is interpreted into an amino acid sequence. So this is where the building of the protein will begin, okay? The messenger RNA will leave the nucleus and find itself attached to the small subunit of a ribosome. That's what's going to happen, okay? The mRNA will leave the cell, bind up to a small subunit of a ribosome, okay? And then the large subunit of the ribosome will interact with a small and now you have yourself some ribosomal RNA. Now, transfer RNA and translation. Transfer RNA and translation. So we have transcription where we took the DNA and made a complementary RNA strand called messenger RNA. The messenger RNA left the cell, found a ribosome, interacted with a small subunit, and now the large subunit is over top of it. Now we're going to go on to what's called translation. 
translation. We're going to translate the RNA code to build a protein, to build a primary sequence of a protein. Now, this is facilitated by transfer RNA, also known as tRNA. Okay? Now, there are several areas in the tRNA sequence where the complementary bases can hydrogen bond. Doing so gives the tRNA a tightly compact capital T structure. Now we're going to move into translation. We're going to translate the DNA's code that made messenger RNA. The messenger RNA bound up with some ribosomes. And now we're ready to translate that into a protein. Now, there's a lot of things you have to learn here. First of all, the word anticodon. Anticodon is a three-base sequence, three-base sequence that is on tRNA. That is on tRNA. It's called an anticodon. It's just a three-base sequence. Now, the codon, the codon is a complementary portion of mRNA. Now, remember, mRNA is in the ribosome waiting to be translated. So three base sequence in mRNA is called a codon. The tRNA will bring the anticodon and bind to it through hydrogen bonding again. It's always through hydrogen bonding. Okay? And that's gonna, and the tRNA is going to have an amino acid attached to it. tRNA has an acceptor stem, it's called, and that's where the amino acids bind to. Okay? Now the only way to grow that amino acid chain is to bring it to the ribosome, bond it to the tRNA. Okay? The amino acids are bonded to the tRNA. So they're coming in, the messenger, say the messenger RNA is, put my hand on the camera if I can, and then the tRNA comes on top of the messenger. The codon, the bottom, the mRNA, the anticodon, the tRNA, has an amino acid stuck to it. And it brings it into close proximity through the messenger RNA, through the binding to the messenger RNA. Now, this brings the amino acids in close proximity, and an enzyme can slam them together, can make the peptide bond, because the messenger RNA and the transfer RNA are bringing them into close proximity so the enzyme can work on them, and in the right sequence, the right primary structure of the protein. Now, this is all very confusing. Yes, I, I understand it's all very confusing. So let's look at this little cartoon and see if we can't make heads or tails of this, okay? Right over here, this is a tRNA molecule. Over here, this is called the acceptor stem. The acceptor stem. This is where the amino acid would be. Amino acid will be there, okay? Bond it to that oxygen. Here's the small subunit of the ribosome, and here is the messenger RNA that's attached to it. This, let me get a different color. Let me just back out of this. There we go. This right here, because it's part of the messenger RNA, that will be called a codon. This is the large subunit of the ribosome. Here is the tRNA, or transfer RNA, um, bound, or hydrogen bonding to the messenger RNA. And here is the amino acid that the tRNA is holding on to. Okay? So now we have a anticodon codon interaction and the transfer RNA has an amino acid with it. And that's where we are on protein synthesis right now. This is how it's going to work. Okay? So let's go over that one more time and then we'll end the video. We have messenger RNA attached to the small subunit of the ribosome with a codon right there. This is a codon facing up. The bases are facing up towards the ribosome. The ribosome, the, sub, the large subunit of the ribosome brings the tRNA with the anticodon, which is right here. This is the anticodon. And to the tRNA is bound an amino acid ready for synthesis. So now all we got to do is bring another tRNA into close proximity to bound up to the codons that will be over here. And the amino acids will be in close proximity and slam them together, bond them together covalently. All right? That's how it works. Now, I know this is confusing. I get it's a lot. You're going to have to maybe watch this video twice, maybe even read the book to understand this. But once you understand it, I think you all will agree it's fascinating how, how beautiful it is. And quite frankly, how simple it gets to be in its complexities, if that makes sense.
anyway so hang in there guys it's almost over so um rewatch this video again make good notes this is very important stuff um you're going to need this when you move forward into microbiology all right so with that i'm going to wish you good luck and good chemistry